Hello, my name is Angela Cooper Bradwick, and I'm the immediate past president of RNAO and a co-chair of the Anti-Black Racism Task Force of RNAO. Today, I would like to talk about Black History Month and what it means to me. It's a time of reflection, remembrance, and celebration. I remember that slavery was abolished in 1833 and the slaves were set free in 1834. I remember that Martin Luther King Jr., the activist in the United States, fought against equal rights, fought for equal rights for Blacks and against anti-racism against Black people in the United States. I remember Melson Mandela, who fought against apartheid in South Africa, against anti-racism for Blacks in South Africa and became the Black president in 1994. I remember Lincoln Alexander, the first lieutenant, black lieutenant governor for Canada, and I would say Ontario, Canada. They have been successful. They were trailblazers and we celebrate their successes today. And today I would like to talk to you about our new anti-black racism task force and to ask you to work with us. I have a few asks. I ask of you to support RNO and the members of the Black Task Force in fighting systemic racism in nursing. I would like to see more young Black leaders hired in executive leadership positions in all settings. I'd like to see young Black and even average age professors hired in senior executive roles, and also tenure track positions. I would like to see black nursing students given equitable and fair evaluations and clinical placement during their consolidation period. We can do it. You, I ask you to move towards that mountain of racism and climb to its peak. You are able to conquer it by collaborating with RNO so that we could move the barriers, some of the structures that prevent black people in Ontario and across Canada from living for living to their full potential and reaching their goals. So I want to thank you today to work with us and you too can do it. Thank you.